Hello everybody, my name is Drew and welcome back to another episode of Metroid Prime. We're here on top of our spaceship from last episode and time to continue our adventure with the shiny space jump boots. Incoming scan data. Yes. Predator activity analyzed. Hooray! Predator increase in the Fendrana Drifts. Chapel of the Elders. Alright, that's our next stop. Although that looks like a wave bird door, because purple would be wave beam. Wave bird. Wave beam, not wave bird. Wave beam door. So, I'm sure I'm sure we will uh, have a way to get there soon enough. However, I think now is probably a good time to go check out the Chazo Temple. So we at least get started on doing some of that, because we're going to be going through the Magmore Caverns again, and... Memory serves. Yeah, there's a missile expansion back there. So now we have a whopping 60 different guys. Uh, I really want to go this way. Yeah, I'm going to go this way. Oh, God. Double jump everywhere. Why? Because I fucking can now. Do I need to? Absolutely not. Am I going to? You bet. It's got an attitude to a lot of things. And there's some kind of dick guys hanging out on the roof here. Okay. If you could stop shooting me, that'd be fucking great. There we go. That one I can scan. These guys are kind of cool. Seedlings. Plant-based ground feeder. Dorsal spines. Yeah, no shit they could be ejected to do damage. We're going to go this way. This is going to take us to the Chazo Temple. And, oh look, a little bit of a cutscene for us. Because this is also called the Impact Crater. And as you can probably guess, this is where a massive impact happened. And probably where we're going to have to go to end the game, one would assume. What we got? New pirate data. What's this telling us? Field team reports, or field team, not field team. Well, they did fail, but fa field team reports in on an aged structure of alien design built on the surface of Talon. Uh, Talon 4 studies show that this structure projects a containment field. This field bars access to prime source of energy within a deep crater. Science team believes the field is powered by a number of strange Chazo artifacts. Chozo artifacts. We have found some of these artifacts. Blah, 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 blah. In other words, the Chozo, knowing that the Phazon uh, is a source of uh, big problems, locked it away using their artifacts, because they're badasses. And naturally, the pirates have found a way to circumnavigate that. Okay, you could... If you just go ahead and open, that'd be super. Thank you. Also, shout out to the fact that this room looked kind of like my visor. How awesome is that? There's also a couple of Chazo lores here for us to scan. I'm going to scan this one. And this one is, okay, so the congregation of artifacts that hold the Great Poison at bay still holds strong. This is talking about the artifacts themselves. Uh, invaders known as space pirates tried to destroy it only to fall in it, fail in every attempt. We scattered the artifacts across the planet for their protection, and only a few have fallen in the invaders' hands. So that's basically like, yeah, we, uh, we stalled them. Don't know for how long, but we stalled them. And this one... Uh, let's see what this one. For new statues, statues are the most blind but ever watchful. That's just talking about like the power contained within the statues, which are down there, and is, or they are rather related to the artifacts. I feel like the music is really loud. If only for me. I don't think it's too loud in the video. I mean, my my audio looks like it's pretty clear, but you really never know with these things. So here's the first area. We're gonna go in and look at that. This is a Chazo, a Cho, a Chazo, Ch God damn it, Chozo. This is a Chozo artifact. Collect it and scan the totems here for the clues and locations, blah, 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 blah. This will open location to the crater. Which, coincidentally, is where we end the game. Hooray! Artifact acquired. This is the Artifact of Truth, the first of 12. Oh, good, a fetch quest. Collect it, then scan the totems here for clues on the locations of the remaining artifacts. Together, the artifacts will open a path to the, crate, the center of the impact crater. So here's our first one. 
And there you go, artifact site. And it's going to give us a little cutscene here. Where all the totems light up because, oh look, Samus is here. She's good, she's on our side. So now we can scan all these bastards. So we've got that guy. We're interested in... So the sun chamber high atop the ruined home became the nest of the great beast. A source of corruption. Many Chozo spirits have been drawn to this place, blah, 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 blah. So that's the artifact of Wild. And that one is the sun chamber, which is in Chozo ruins. We're going to have to go back there once we get the, the wave beam after we're finished in Fendrana Drifts with a bunch of stuff. We won't be finished for our next run through Fendrana anyway. Uh, what's this one? This is Heat of Magmore Artifact of Strength. Actually, we're going to get the Artifact of Strength today, if I remember correctly. So that's the Artifact of Truth. We already got that one. This one is blah, blah, blah. Tower Sits Talk, Cloud Fortress, Artifact of Elder. Some of these are all in the overworld. Artifact of Life Giver. This one is in uh, Fedrana's Edge. Seek the unseen entrance. Ooh. Isn't that just cryptic as fuck? Uh, some of these artifacts are hidden in plain sight, so to speak. One of them is in an area you've already been through, but you need the x-ray visor to get there. That's the grove. Yeah, that's the grove one I was just talking about. And the last one being this one. Which is, uh, yeah, okay, cool. And I think that's all of them, question mark? Pretty sure that's all of them. Uh, yeah, okay, well, it looks like we're good. Okay. Uh, even if we're not, we'll be back here again, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, we want to go this way. Again, kudos to level design and actually the way that they've arranged everything. There's a lot of element uh, elements here taken from old uh, Mayan and Incan designs, like the way these these blocks are sort of textured and look like. It's definitely very reminiscent of um, a lot of South American culture, I find. But healthily mixed with other stuff, like through um, Eastern and, and Middle Eastern religion, especially like Buddhism and stuff like that. Because it's sort of like, I kind of take it that the Chozo are like giant space Buddhists who are also like scary geniuses. All right, so let's uh, let's head back to Fendrana. Uh, through Magmore Caverns, I guess. Uh, let's take a look at where we want can go here. Okay, that takes us to Chozo Ruins. Chozo Ruins, god damn it, I, I'm stuck. I'm forever stuck saying that now. Uh, we could go back to Magmore Caverns East. Do I want to do the East or do you want to go the other way? Well, let's take a look at our, our little guide here and see what it tells us. Yeah, Magmore Caverns East. Okay, so we'll do it that way. Uh, what is in here again? No, that's not where I wanted to go. I want to go... This way? No, that's the other way. That's the ruins west root cave. I guess I do need to go this way, don't I? To the root cave and then root cave up. But yeah, no, I guess I guess no, I guess that way. All right. I don't know what I'm talking about. Ignore me. Ignore everything about me. How you doing, guys? So we will go this way. Rude. There we go. And dead. Thank you. Uh, oh, we get the very suit next? No, I think we get the wave beam next. No, I think I said that already. Like 99.99% sure that we get the wave beam next. Uh, I can't really do anything else, so we'll just... 
Drop down to the bottom here. Kill these assholes. And we'll make our way back to the old Magmore Caverns. Everybody's favorite place of boiling death. Awesome. So I think if we're getting the wave beam, that means we need to face the adult Shigoth, I think. Look at the guide real quick. Yeah, yeah, adult Shigoth. Okay, so that, that's where we're headed. And I was right, we are going to get the artifact of strength. So we're going to go this way, I think. Nope, because that takes me to the Twin Fires. Okay, this is really weird. Check this out. The map just did it. I'm upside down, but now I'm right side up. Huh? How fucking weird is that? I'm not insane. I'm not insane. Okay, Twin Fires, what are you? Okay, that's the spider ball track. We're going to avoid that. Uh, nope, I'm going to turn into a morph ball. I'm going to roll myself to victory. Come on, go through the door. Thank you. Let this guy go. Now, see, we had the ice beam. You can actually shoot these with the ice beam. And uh, you won't get that. Oh, fuck. You won't get affected. Which I thought was kind of cool. Seriously, you're not dead yet? Get dead. So dead. Thank you. I don't even care because we're going to save at some point soon. Yep. Must be about four energy tanks, and that's a lot of health to worry about for this point of the game. Uh, I can't break this yet, can I? I think I've been through this. Yeah, no, I need the uh, I need power bombs for that, which is unfortunate, but that's going to take a long while. Oh, dear. Ow. I like how these guys can fucking attack through. OK, there we go him down so with double jump we can actually now go to the very top of this room so we're gonna do that after I break some of these for some health oh, I'm so glad we actually got the one the one energy tank that's super hard to get because that is by far the hardest It's by far the hardest one to get. Without a doubt. Okay, so we wanted to go now. Because we gotta go back to Fundrana anyway. It'll be going this way. Now, I don't think I scanned everything in here before, did I? Nope, I did. Okay, good. Uh, oh, we could also. Ooh, we could have all. Uh, no, we'll, we'll have to go back to back to the ruins eventually anyway, so my uh my waste that time. Oh come on. Come on now. Alright, let's take a look you loo here. So we have Kato Suspension Bridge. Ah, okay, a new piece of tech for us to scan, which is the spinner, which can only be activated with a morph ball and boost ball. You can see there that little bridge extends. And now, provided I don't uh, screw this up, I can jump like that. And now we can reach the highest door in this room, which conveniently, if memory serves, is where we find our artifact of strength, which is the first artifact we need besides the truth. 
if I go through here. Ta-da! How the space pirates never found this, I will never know. What's this saying? Bendesium protects the area that uh, is unstable. Uh, so Bendesium is... Is that... Is that power bomb? So there's our second artifact. And it's cool. So the little center uh, uh, ring there lights up with each artifact as you clearly just saw. So that's kind of neat. Yeah, okay. So I need... I need power bombs for that. So that's uh, that's gonna be a trip later when we have power bombs, and I think it's even a power bomb expansion, which is kind of neat, and uh, also good for us. Okay, so we're gonna go like this, grab those, and head to Fedrana Drifts. Might be kind of a longer episode. Oh well, fuck me. We had to totally miss Drew. Oh why? Mm. wanted. It's a shame that this game does not believe in saved areas because honestly every time you're going going into somewhere and having to kill every bad guy again when you were literally just out of the room for five seconds kind of annoying. Although I don't remember it actually being that way as a kid but I could be remembering it wrong or even the Wii version for that matter. I don't know why I'm being so conservative with missiles. I have 60 of them. And there's literally missile ammo everywhere. Honestly, I am way more liberal with health than I am with missiles. Health, I kind of throw away like it's going out of style, but missiles, I'm like, nah, I might need those. So, like I said, we're going to go face Shigoth in the upcoming battle. And uh, Shigoths are, they're like the, the adult Shigoth is very much like the baby Shigoth. It's kind of hard to kill. It's a bigger bitch because you can't shoot it with your energy weapons. Which means my charge beam and my regular blaster, useless. Instead, we have to use missiles. So having a lot of missiles going into this fight, extremely useful. Extremely useful. We have 60, so I'm probably pretty good. Using our missile spam to shoot Shigoth should do the trick. But we will have to see how this works out. I still love this area. The music in here is so good, too. Yes, I know there's lots of upgrades in here. Please don't remind me until I have the plasma beam. Incidentally, my favorite beam. All right, let's just go ahead and save this bad boy. Okay, so we... We need to get over here. And the only way to do that is probably through that door up top there and head our way that way. Now, it's a wave beam door, so I'm assuming there's going to be some other way to get in there. I don't know what it is yet, or I don't remember what it is. We'll find out along the way. Ow. Okay, so we have to go up there. How are we going to do that? We're going to... We're going to climb. I'm sure I could read exactly how to do this, but I'd rather just kind of experiment. And what was in this room again? Oh, right. That's the icy ruined access. Right, right, right. And that eventually takes us to the plaza walkway. But I don't think we actually need to bother doing that now because we have space jump boots. Or do we? No, we probably do. Uh, is there another way that I can go other than that? New. No, because we have to hop on. Oh, shit. That's not what I wanted to do. Good job, me. Way to go. Unless there is another... Nope, that's the door that's directly above. I'm wondering if there's another scanner somewhere that I can activate for stuff. Because there's this floating pedestal right there. Hmm. Alright, well... 
let's go ahead and do this one then. Okay. Oh, you dick. All right, come on. Nice. There we go. That was a little easier. We can go up this way now. We get a few bits of health. How oh, these guys are painting the ass. Okay, so now we're up here. And to what end, I ask. Okay, so I can jump down here. Ah, there we go. Okay, so that's what we wanted. Perfect. Now, there are other things. Cordite statues worn and weathered skin indicates presence of a power conduit. Okay, so that's what we need the wave beam for, by the way. Okay, so I literally can't kill him. Okay, if you just not do that for half a second, that'd be great. Oh, God. Why is there so many? Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Well, that went well. Oh, hey, how's it going, Shigoth? How the fuck did you get in here? Okay, so now we gotta climb this whole goddamn statue. We're gonna scan things though. Statue there. There's also ice. No, this thing guys there. I think there's ice parasites, it says. I'm sure we'll scan them when we see them. Don't let me forget. Alright, so we wanna go this way. Pretty sure. No. Oh, I'm dumb. We're gonna go right there. Oh, there it is. Ice parasite. See? I told you there was ice parasites. We're just going to go like that. Slowly make our way to the top of the room. Get knocked off because I'm an idiot. Normally I wouldn't waste missiles, but I kind of don't want to get knocked off to the bottom. Of the oh my god! Room every time. I didn't even look at what this statue said. What did this statue say again? Oh god, it's killing me right now. Platforming is my natural enemy. Oh good god. What did you even say? Oh, okay, so that was it. Nothing, he, he said nothing. Okay, great. Never mind. Okay, we good? I fucking love the development of this world, like... It's so badass. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of these statues. You can see that there's statues that are... almost flawless, and there's... There must be one somewhere that is flawed. Ah, there we go. That one. And now I can do this. 
Doot, 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 doot. Okay, what does that give us? Ah, it opens the door. Perfect. And I'm going to grab our scan visor real quick because this says... Here's to be a shell of an ice encased in water based on the water energy from the statue's mouth. So that's where it goes. That's where it originally comes from. Now, I bet you we could melt this if we had the correct tool, but we don't have the correct tool, so moving on. Oh, Lord. Okay. This is one of those missions, isn't it? I have to do that. See, I don't mind these morph ball puzzles. They're actually kind of interesting. Oh. Ah, God, come on. Worst timing ever. There we go. Okay. So now where are we now? We are... Ah, we're right above the uh, right above the boss. All right, guys, we're going to try and do this in the last like couple minutes we got of the episode. There's our wave beam way over there. I'm going to conspicuously walk towards it. I will grab it. Oh, I can't grab it. It's going to go away. Oh, no. So now there's a whole bunch of little she goths that are going to show up and they're going to suck. Oh god. Okay, well this is not going the way I envisioned. Okay, there we go. Everybody's all happy or whatever, and then BAM! Big Mama Shigoth shows up. Now here's the really actual hard part of the fight. Basically, you gotta kind of stay a little bit close to her, and then you wanna... Oh, Jesus. Actually, I'm gonna scan her real quick, because I haven't done that yet. There we go. So, new creature downloaded, blah, blah, blah. Shigoth! Yay! Supreme Predator of the Fidon Drifts. Involved with the most beam weapons, because the crystals on their back absorb energy. Oh, look at that. Of course, Tanima, they hyperventilate after using their breath attack, making their area vulnerable to soft underbelly. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so, in other words, I need to stay kind of close, but not close enough that she can do that to me. And pretty much just start spamming our, our, uh... Our weapons. Oh, no. Ow. Because we don't want her to charge, but we do want her to use breath weapons. And there she goes. Honestly, I lost way more health on that boss fight than I wanted to, but whatever. The good news is we finished this uh, little trist right where it is appropriate. Or quest, not trist. Trist or something different. Uh, for perfunctory reasons, I will scan the wave beam. And now we have ourselves our second main weapon of the game. Wave beam, super cool. I'm going to fire it off a couple of rounds before we call the end to the day. Hooray, wave beam acquired. So we use our C stick to select between different wave patterns. And this one, as I said, is the wave beam. We're also going to scan these alternate energy or ultimate energies. Oh, dick. They despawned right then. Oh. So the wave beam, as you can see, fires like that. And it's cool because when you direct it at energy creatures like the Bombachus and guys, you don't have to worry about them doing whatever. Um, I will demonstrate that. We're going to go just a little bit over time. 
but I'm sure you guys will appreciate this. Now, the nice thing is uh, power beam, power ball doors, they are open by every other beam type. So if I do this, they're attracted to my beam, but I can shoot them with the beam and they disappear. Now, the, power, now the waving doesn't really track per se, but kind of follows where you're shooting easily enough. We can we can drop down to the bottom here. But it basically means I can kill like things like bombus now, or bomb chews or whatever the hell they're called. And of course the charge beam looks really cool because it's this big charge energy blast and goes firing out of here like a bat at hell. And it's generally a good time. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. So there we have it. We've got the wave beam now. Now, although I don't have the thermal beam or the x-ray beam, I can shoot at that thing. And it should. Oh, cordite. Because cordite is broken by... No. Cordite is not broken by that. Because it's broken by... Aha. Okay, so that doesn't help me, but anyway. So now there's uh, now there's these guys here. Now the funny thing is I can shoot them with that and it uh, freezes them in place because it like it tasers them or whatever. But we're gonna go quickly save and we'll call an end to this episode. But there we go, we got the wave beam. I love the way these weapons switch too. Super super good. But we'll save. And we'll call that an end, guys. So there we have it. We beat Shigoth, got the wave beam, got another upgrade or two, and everything's going great. Next is, uh, I think we have to go back to the overworld, I think. I'm not sure. But we'll, we'll continue on with our quest next episode. As usual, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye!